meet a vertical spiral sleeve, and here's how it works. This is a stationary rescue device. That is, it needs to be specially installed and fixed in a special way on the floors. In addition, it's hardly possible to quickly deploy the sleeve and prepare it to save people without an experienced person familiar with the device functions. There is a 264 pound weight limit, but it will hold 308 pounds and even 330 pounds. Another disadvantage is the height limit. Such sleeves usually do not exceed 147, 164 feet. And remember that there are modern buildings that are 328 feet high and higher. However, these are perhaps all the cons that I would like to note. Rescue with the help of such a sleeve is not a rescue at all, but pure fun. See for yourself. <laughs> That's all. Checked. This sleeve is sewn so that the person inside it moves in a spiral. So the speed of descent decreases. And most importantly, it's probably the only rescue devices that we have shown that is not scary. It is difficult to find a person who is not afraid of heights. It is even harder to find someone who can safely descend from this height. But this sleeve is closed, and a person simply does not see the notorious height when he is inside. Hence the ease with which many members of our film crew so readily agreed to go down the sleeve from the ninth floor. The productivity of these sleeves is five persons per minute. Here. Well, I just know about Korean sleeves. They conducted an experiment and 300 people went down in 10 minutes, sufficiently prepared. Well, they just went down one by one. Another type of such rescue system is a slanted sleeve. Here, in addition to fixing it on the floor, there must be a special fixation on the ground. And again, this requires both advanced preparation and time. But other than that, the system is very simple. It's as easy to use it as to go down the slide. 